Hello again, the budget collector coming at you once more. We've got another TTM through the mail day. As you can see, I got two back. There's really nothing else to show you today, so let's just jump right in. Wanted to uh, highlight this Kirk Gibson, 1989 Don Russ uh, Diamond Kings. Not in particular for the set or the player, but just the old school Diamond Kings. Love these cards. Um, painted by Perez. Oh man, I forget his first name, but same guy painted all these Diamond Kings for at least into the mid 90s. I'm not even really sure. He, he may still be painting them today, but for the longest time, he did one per team for every Don Russ set for at least a 15 year run. Um, I just love these cards. They're really cool. Any, anytime I can get one of these autographed, I try to do that. So let's take a look at what we've got. I got this one coming back, which is interesting. It wasn't postmarked or anything like that. So I'm wondering if I can actually reuse that envelope. But let's take a look and see who it is. So I have no idea where this came in from. So this will be a total surprise as to who I get back. We'll slow roll it like I do. That's a, a vintage looking card. Okay, Pittsburgh Powers. I know who that is. I hope he signed it. Wow. 1958 Tops. Bill Mazeroski. Wow. The card itself was in pretty good shape except for off center. Um, I knew Mazeroski signed through the mail. Um, I took a while to find this card. I was, I was looking for, I wanted an older card. Um, I wanted a nice looking card. I wanted, um, I didn't want it to be in too bad a shape, but I also didn't want to pay a lot of money because, well, that's, I don't like to pay a lot of money. I'm the budget collector. So I ended up actually finding this card for just $6. It's an early card from early in his career. He's a hall of famer. Um, we know he was the first player ever to hit a walk-off home run in the World Series in a Game 7. Um, that's pr probably most of the reason why he made the Hall of Fame. Um, I like the Jim Palmer that you guys saw a couple of videos ago. I did pay for this one as well. Uh, I believe he only signs for $5, but $5 and the $6 I invested in the card plus stands. That's about a $12 Bill Mazeroski autograph. And look at his signature, beautiful. These older guys, their signatures are beautiful. And I would take that card all day long for $12. This is beautiful. I'm really, really happy with this card. Came out great. Now let's see who we got next. This card's coming in from Kansas City. Um, I don't even have a guess to venture as to who it might be. Um, feels like there's a couple of cards in there, so I'm trying to think of who I may have sent multiples to. I don't do multiples often. Okay, two cards. Let's slow roll them out. Oh, okay. Joe Carter. Oh, wow. And look at the card that I selected to send to him. Um, his walk-off home run in the World Series. Isn't that something? I got the two walk-offs in the same day. I didn't even plan that. I couldn't have planned it better. The two men hit a walk-off home run in the World Series. The only two in baseball history. See this, see this on the back? This is why I don't like to send two cards. I got some of the ink and the other card, uh, I really hope that it came out nice and it didn't get ruined because um, cause that was the card that I really wanted. I, I also saw that that card and I said, hey, it commemorates his walk off. That would be a cool card to get signed in addition to this one. And that is the rookie card, the 84 Don Russ. Um, 
the signature looks good on it. Even though you could see that some of it smudge onto the back of the other card, this card looks good. That signature looks very clean to me. Um, got the got the Joe Carter. Um, I can't remember what I paid. I think I paid about three or four dollars for that, but a couple of stamps. And there it is. This is this was a great that I got these back in the same day. Walk off World Series home runs, Joe Carter, Bill Mazeraski. I mean, what a great coincidence. What great cards. These are beautiful. Beautiful signatures. So I hope you guys enjoyed looking at my cards. Just to recap, uh, we got about $12 into the Mazeraski. I've got about um, probably about five bucks into the Joe Carter. So 17 bucks or so for these beauties can get those cards for 17 bucks all day long. You go buy a blaster box in Walmart and you end up getting nothing. And I got these three cards. Uh, they're going my personal collection and I love them. They came out great. Very happy. I'm the budget collector guys. I hope you enjoyed.